Oh yeah, my god, true. I'm sweating already. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. Today is the final match of our quest to find which card from Core 21 is the best for CEDH. So we have Brawlin Shabra's Curious Combo, adding a Ghostly Pilferer as a discard outlet. Grenzo Doomsday, adding Conspicuous Snoop for some new combo lines. Timnatana Goblin Pod, also adding Conspicuous Snoop for some combo lines. And Thrasios Bruised Advantage, adding Emil the Bless, which actually isn't an M21 card, it's a Jumpstart card. They all came out at the same time. Begin! Dura all one card, Scalding Tower, Crack that Volcanic Island, Tasty Git Probe targeting Dylan. Oh dear. Draw a card, Faithless Looting. Discard, Recruiter of the Guard, and Enlightened Tutor. You don't need to find anything else, I guess. That's the message that sends, but that's not correct. <laughs> the message that sends is that he needs to find a white man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the that real message. That is the real message. There, there Go ahead. Is. Draw. Swamp, Man Crypt, Racto Signet, Frenzo. X equals zero. Go ahead. All right, well, we're going to draw by you, Mana Crypt of our own, a Bloom Tender. Pass. Draw card. City of Brass. Carpet of Flowers. Main phase two. Target Tyler. Make a green mana. Line of War Elves. Pass my turn. Untap. Draw. Guys, this is horrible. Cast a careful study. I'm going to discard an Alms Collector and an Open the Armory. Now you're really sending a message. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Don't take damage. Look at that. Draw for turn. Verdant Catacombs. I have three black sources, but I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'm going to play a land. Oh, you have to roll for Mana Crypt. I take three. Fetch in. Plateau that was never printed in paper. Oh, it's printed right there. Yeah, I see it right in front of me, dude. We're gonna play Tana. Red and a green. Use the green for Elvish Mystic. Use the red for Torch Courier. Go to combat. Attack Tyler for one. Pass. Draw card. Carpet of Flowers. Target Tyler. Make one blue. Cast Thrasios. Play Volcanic Island. Pass my turn. Draw. Woo! Play an island. Look at me go. Carpet of Flowers is so good. Watch out, boys. Cast a gamble. Cast a Mencrypt. Cast a Risk of Study. I'm gonna respond to the Risk of Study. I really hope that's just because he doesn't want to have to pay one on whatever he's doing between turns and not because he's fucking up my Risk of Study. It's probably because he's tutoring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's, I'm gonna assume it's a Vampiric Tutor. Or is it one, two, three, four, five? It's Adnaz. No! Dylan got it! Adnaz, yeah. Alright. Well. Well, I think, I think that's all we needed, right? Yeah. Two pieces of protection. <laughs> okay. All right. Risk of study resolves. Sweet. Pass the turn. In your upkeep. I'll cast silence. May I draw a card? No. Why would you do such a thing? Pyroblast. Risk of study. Paying for risk of study. Cast a fire covenant. Nine. Now I'm going to see if Mana Crypt does three damage to me. It does. And then I draw a turn. Play March Flats. Then move to discard. Discarding Goblin Matron. Dark Confidant. Mountain and Bogart. Roll for Mana Crypt, got an even. Play a Taiga, cast Timna. Pass the turn. I will draw for turn. Main phase one, make two blue Marsh Flats. With the two blue, I'm gonna cast a Gilded Drake. Crack. I'm the right mental. It is blasted. Fetch, Tundra. Time Twister. Okay. Pass turn. Untap. Roll for Mana Crypt. Take damage. Draw for turn. Mana Confluence. Cast a Recruiter of the Guard. I will find a Dockside Extortionist. Cast that Dockside Extortionist. Four treasures. I will pass turn. Upkeep. No damage. Draw. Lotus Petal. Bloodstained Mire. Bubbling Muck. Crack the Mire. Cast Demonic Tutor. Three black. Doomsday. Oh my god, he's doing it, everybody. Pact of Negation targeting Doomsday. Imps Mischief. If Imps Mischief resolves, it's going to redirect the Pact of Negation to the Imps Mischief, and then the Pact will fizzle. Okay. Pact fizzles? Yeah. I think that's how it works. That is that. To cast Flusterstorm. Seven total copies. I will point all of them at Doomsday. All right. Play the Sledder. Mod Fanatic. All right. Go ahead. Man, I really thought the little guy had at that time. I keep on rooting for him every time, even though if I'm the one stopping him or Tyler is, I'm just like, you got it, little Grenzo. Keep on trying. He's so close. So close. So close. Let's roll for crypt. Hooray. Minus three life. Draw for turn. Scrubland. Hit Dylan for two. I'm going to gain one life overall because the tip of the trigger is going to let me draw another card. I guess what I'm going to do is cast Okay, my Adversary here. Pass the turn. In my upkeep, I'm going to cast Enlightened Tutor. I'm going to find a Smothering Tithe. Mm. Stinky. Smothering Tithe on top. Draw. Main phase one. I'll target you, Tyler. I'll add two white mana. Scalding Tarn. With the Carpet of Flowers, I will cast a Smothering Tithe. Fetch. 
Cast Sensei's Divining Top. Fast return. Roll from Anacrypt. No damage. In upkeep, pay one, cast an Enlightened Tutor. Copy cap. What do you suppose I'm going to put on top of my library? <laughs> Draw Smothering Tenth for turn. May I have a treasure? You may. I will float one colorless, cast copy artifact. I'm gonna copy another mana crypt. I will cast a smothering tithe. Cast time twister. Holy shit, is it good with me? How many treasures can I have? All of these will go on the stack, so I suppose technically every two draws I could sack a treasure to stop you drawing one and you could do the same. Mostly for simplicity in resolving this, I am not going to pay any of your treasures. I'm gonna pay for one of Tyler's. So I will get one less treasure than 21 treasures. And then I will get 21 treasures. Treasures. Land for turn, Ancient Tomb. Use one to cast a Soul Ring, and I will have one Colorless Floating. Cast a Faithless Looting. Can I have two treasures? Discard two lands. You may have two treasures. Cast Brawlin. And cast Curiosity Targeting Brawlin. I'll sacrifice a treasure to activate top. Cast Mystical Tutor. I'm going to Force of Will the Mystical Tutor. Yes. Cast Enlightened Tutor. Realistically, this is just to, to be able to look a little bit deeper. I'm going to fail to find. Activate top. Curiosity Resolves. Cast a Tandem Lookout. Activate top two draw card. May I have a treasure? I will pay two treasures so that you may not. Yeah, this is my only option. Uh, Force of Vigor, Pitching, Green Sun Zenith. That was like my brilliant play. Targets are going to be Curiosity and Smothering Tithe. Tandem Lookout still on the stack. I'll sacrifice one treasure here. Do my last dig and do a Brainstorm. And I think that only gets me one card deeper. It doesn't get me any cards deeper, actually. So then I'm just going to pass priority on that one. Soul Bond. Flashback Faithless Looting. Can I have two treasures? You may. Discard Bloodstained Mire and Idyllic Tutor. Two Brawling Triggers on the stack. You each take two. I will draw six. Can I have six treasures? Yes, you may. I'm going to pay two and cast Ghostly Pilfer. Fun! We use Ghostly Pilfer as a discard outlet to begin um, discarding cards and kill you all by looping and clean up step to deal 32 damage since I have more than 32 cards left in my library. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it felt, to be honest, though. I mean, look at this. Consistency. He, he started this game out he missed a second missing land drop. a second land drop and not getting it after careful study yeah. and another draw discard spell that right. he cast. Faith is I think, right? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Brawl and Shabra's list is just very consistent. It has three different curiosity effects and a whole bunch of different ways to discard cards, whether it be through wheel effects or actual discard outlets or just quick one shots like Faithless Looting. I don't know, I'm just, I'm particularly happy with the deck. It has a lot of consistency. Can we talk about how we finally got to see an M21 card this game? Right, in yeah. The win condition here, <laughs> even. You know Ghostly what? Ghostly Pilferer. I, I could have sworn, I think I tweeted about the second video. Yeah, I did tweet that there was a, a sec, there was a card in the second video, and I think I would have thought it was this one. Was there not a card in the second one? I don't think there was a card in the second oh, one. Damn, he won a different way. This game was a pretty quick one, um, but the entirety of the match would have lasted somewhere over a half hour, and we just wasn't ready to put that out in one game. So we decided to split them up like this. So let us know if you like this, if you like it split out amongst the week, or you like the regular three games one day. Just a quick little note, little surprise, we're going to have Casually Competitive on the channel this week. Except we're only going to be having one game, it's going to be a pretty quick one, we got a little bit of technical difficulties, but regardless, this Sunday, or irregardless, that's a word now, Webster put irregardless in the dictionary. Was irregardless not in the dictionary no, before? No, irregardless has never been a word, it was a, it was a mistake, people tried to say regardless, and said irregardless. Well, it it, it and it really, happened enough. They made it a real word. So, but it's the same definition as it means the same regardless. Thing. It means that's like, ridiculous. Irregardless means regardless. irregardless should be the opposite of regardless. Irregardless, casually competitive is going to be on this Sunday. If you'd like to buy a shirt, you can do that here. If you'd like to buy some tokens, you can donate and send us some proof here. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can do that here. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.